Season 1 of Invincible introduces Nolan Grayson, aka the extremely powerful and well-regarded superhero Omni-Man. As Nolan's teenage son Mark begins developing his own powers, Nolan trains him on how to use them, and gifts him his first super suit made by his friend and tailor Art Rosenbaum. With his new suit and burgeoning powers, Mark gives himself the superhero name Invincible. But unbeknownst to his family, Nolan has a dark secret, and brutally murders the famed superhero team, the Guardians of the Globe. Following the death of the Guardians, the clandestine Global Defense Agency and its head, Cecil Stedman, begin looking into who could have possibly taken out the entire superpowered team. First, Stedman tasks the demon detective Damien Darkblood to uncover the truth. When Damien discovers that Nolan was the killer and wants to take immediate action, Action, Cecil banishes the demon detective back to hell. With the Guardians dead, Earth is in need of a new superhero team to protect it. So Cecil and the GDA promote members of the Teen Team to become the new Guardians of the Globe. The new Guardians team consists of Black Samson, Monster Girl, Duplicate, Shrinking Ray, Rexplode, and their leader, Robot, who is actually controlled by the ailing human, Rudy Connors. Mark works alongside the new Guardians on several missions, leading to fellow superhero Adam Eve developing romantic feelings for him, but Mark turns down her advances as he has long harbored a crush on his classmate Amber. Mark's relationship with Amber is cut short when she discovers that he is in fact invincible, but never trusted her to confide his secret. Meanwhile, Nolan's wife Debbie discovers that it was in fact her husband Omni-Man who killed the original Guardians. She turns to Nolan's friend Art for advice, and the two are devastated by this revelation. Debbie then turns to Cecil, who confirms that it has become his personal mission to defeat Nolan, and he suspects that only Omni-Man's son Mark has any chance of defeating the most powerful of all superheroes. Meanwhile, Robot seeks out the help of the villainous clones, the Mauler Twins, to help him create a new body to replace his dying original one. After gaining his new body, Robot and the Maulers turn on each other, resulting in the Maulers resurrecting the Immortal, the leader of the original Guardians of the Globe. But the Immortal has no interest in fighting Robot for the Maulers, and instead seeks revenge on his killer, Omni-Man. First, Omni-Man faces off against the Immortal, killing him once again. In. Then Nolan is forced to face off against his own son. Nolan explains to Mark that he is from a race of aliens known as the Viltrumites, and was sent to Earth to prepare it for an invasion by the Viltrum Empire. Nolan asks his son to join his cause, but Mark refuses. The father and son's superpowered battle devastates Chicago, killing thousands of innocent people. Ultimately, Mark is able to remind his father of the love he has for his family, prompting Nolan to flee Earth. Following the battle, Mark and Amber reconcile, while Cecil covers up Nolan's identity as Omni-Man, protecting the Grayson family from scrutiny, then works with mad scientist D.A. Sinclair to build an army of mechanical zombies known as Reanimans to help protect Earth from Viltrumites. As the season comes to a close, Mark is visited by his friend, Alan the Alien, a soldier for the Coalition of Planets, who warns that the Viltrumites would soon come to Earth to finish what Omni-Man started.